The mission of Shoals Christian School is to assist Christian families by providing a Christ-centered, biblically-based education, emphasizing excellence in character, academics, and service to Christ and others. Join us for an interview with Shoals Christian alumni. Now tell us about your SCS experience. It was just, it, it was just a great place. Um, I would, if I had to do school all over again, um, I would definitely come back to Shoals. I have friends in college all the time that say, you graduated with 21 people, that must have been terrible. And I say, no, that, that was awesome. Um, you guys definitely missed out. There are many ways to take advantage of the fact that it's a K4 through 12 school. And with Key Club, we would go into classrooms and read books to the younger students and find ways to just be servants around the school. So what I miss more than anything is the closeness of the classes and the, my classmates and the one-on-one -on -one attention I got from the teachers and the sports and the, the pride I had to tell everybody in Florence I went to Shoals Christian. A beautiful place to just love God, love others, and teach you so much about everything you need to know. Everybody knew each other, so you always had a friend you could talk to, and uh, the teachers, they really cared. I mean, they genuinely cared about the students, so it was just all around just a great atmosphere to go to school. And you're also able to participate in so many different activities, whereas in a giant high school, you could pick one thing and stick with it, but here, you can pick all kinds of extracurricular activities and sports and clubs, and you can dabble in all of them and see what fits. Knowing that teachers are here for you, they're praying for you, they'll pray with you. Um, high school is such a big time and, you know, you need that. More than that, it provided me with a basic framework um, for how I would live my life and give me principles that, that guided me and, and how I make decisions. Because there's fear of people Everyone has to be all the activities. So you're not just the cheerleaders. You're the cheerleaders, you're the basketball players, you're every different part of the school. And to be honest, that's kind of what real life is like. <laughs> you have to wear a bunch of different hats for everything. Were you prepared for college academically? I definitely knew how to study. I didn't think I was going to know how to prepare for tests, but I did. I did fine in my first semester. So I was surprised at how easily I slipped into um, college life with uh, especially fields like the English and the writing and everything. I was um, over the, the average there and I was shocked at the people that didn't know how to write a complete paper whereas we had been doing that at Shoals since the seventh grade. Here they teach critical thinking skills. They teach you how to think and, and, and put together your own opinion and put together what you think you know everything is and that ability to critically think changes everything in college. I felt extremely prepared, especially from a writing standpoint. Uh, Ms. Jones does a phenomenal job in the English department. And, but academically, as a, as a whole, uh, I, I, don't I don't think that I could have found myself prepared better any other way. I fit right in when I got um, at UNA. I never felt like I was behind. I felt like I was keeping up with everybody. I didn't have to have any outside help. The teachers were very involved. Um, did their best to make sure that we not only learned the material, but learned how to think, how to analyze. And I think that's the greatest skill that I gained because by the time you get to college, it doesn't matter if you've read a specific book or if you know um, a certain fact about science. It's how do you solve the problem? How do you analyze the literature? And I think that's the um, most important skill. The students have to uh, take responsibility and uh, put in the hard work, but if, if the student does that, then they're going to be fine and be, they're going to be ready for college. I learned that even at a school like Princeton, I was, um, at, I was prepared, if not better so, than um, all the other kids. Uh, that were there. I was, I was very excited, um, you know, my first couple of times taking a test or whatever and I realized, you know, I'm at this school and I can still do it and I definitely think a large part of that is because um, because Shoals prepared me, especially in the math and science because I am doing engineering. Of course you're going to be challenged in college, you should be, and in the areas where the information was new or where I was pushed more than I had been before I had the study skills to be able to succeed. I was really prepared in general because now I feel like I had a good transition. I didn't have to worry about my grades or anything. I'm still making good grades and I think that started from having a good high school background. And I feel like I've been um, very prepared. I have a, a 3.9 GPA um, in those courses um, and I feel like the, the academics at Shoals prepared me um, 
prepare me for that and to be successful at, at the next level, whatever that may be. Coming from a small school, were you prepared socially? Here, because the classes are so small, you can also interact with people that aren't necessarily in your grade. You can talk and be friends with people in older grades or younger grades. And so when I got to college, it was a lot easier to have friends that were not strictly in my class, but of all ages. Does it help me to learn how to be friends with lots of different types of people? Because I was primarily interested in um, theater and music when I was here at Shoals, but a lot of my friends were um, more interested in the athletic side of Shoals. So being in that environment, I was able to make friends with people who didn't share common interests with me. And at a school like Princeton, where you're bringing in international kids and kids from all across the country, I really, there's not a lot, there's not ever going to be a lot of people who are just like you. Um, so Shoals Christian really prepared me to be able to be open and meet new people that are completely different from me and to establish those strong friendships. I was actually grateful to have that close environment with my classmates, with, you know, the school and the teachers, because it helped me to have a better relationship with my teachers and classmates in college. A lot of people, I think, were concerned that maybe we were sheltered in Shoals Christian, but that really wasn't the case. I think we always were very aware of the fact that um, we were in a unique environment and that things would be different. And I think we were well prepared for it socially. When you go to college, you spend, they say you spend the majority of your time your freshman year figuring out exactly who you are. But well, in a place like this, you know who you are. And when you leave here, you just take that with you and you're comfortable with you because you know that because of what is taught here and because of the way your friends accept you, you are chosen by God and you are divinely made and divinely touched. And you can, and you can go with that confidence throughout the rest of your life. And I think you get a good idea of who you want to hang out with because you've had the morals and the values here. And so you go to another school and then you already know, well, that's what I need to look for in my friends there. Even though I went to a, a, a Christian school that was, you know, primary, primarily of the same demographic, uh, there was a lot of people cut from different cloth. And I think that really enabled me to, uh, to accept a lot of people. It was it emboldened me to, to know who I was as a person so that I had no problem accepting everybody else. Were you prepared spiritually? I think that from teachers who provide excellent examples of living the Christian life, um, I learned how to handle situations that I would encounter. It's often a time where students begin to question their beliefs. We had talked about these things in Bible class, so it wasn't something new. I knew the response, I knew the answer to the questions, and if it was something new, then I had the knowledge of Scripture to refute the attack. You grow up learning all of this, it's in you, and it's for you to be prepared to go into a different environment and still be able to have your faith and have your spirituality. In those verses I learned, in high school have actually just come into play several times you know they just come back into your memory just you know God's real good about doing that. And you did a lot of studying about other religions and other um, you know kind of the perspectives that that different religions around the world take and how it compares and contrasts to Christianity and I found that very very um, you know useful and helpful even up to a few weeks ago, you know, being able just to have a conversation, have a knowledgeable conversation with someone about their religion, you kind of have a common ground to be able to start with and, and you know, show how Christianity is, is different from, from, their, from their perspective and from what they believe. Every person has a spot in their life where you have two choices. You can choose, do I want to continue to follow Christ in my life? Or do I want to go do what this friend group is doing? Do I want to be part of what they do? Am I going to be? Am I not going to be cool if I do that? And you know what? Going to school here it gave me that boldness. It gave me the ability to know the truth and to be bold enough to follow that truth. Tough being thrown into something, some things I'd never seen before, or heard before, and I just had to stay strong. I got involved in church, Calvary Baptist, my fr first semester freshman year, and. That made, I think, a lot of the difference because I wasn't getting what I used to get here every single day. Our Bible classes here taught me to think critically, to think about um, difficult questions that I would face in college 
in ways that would help me to, you know, argue the point for Christianity with my, with my non-Christian friends. I feel like I've done fairly successfully because of the, of the curriculum here and because of the, the way it's prepared me. One of the first things I set out my mission to do was to find a group of Christians there um, to bond with and fellowship with. So it, was, it set me up to have a foundation that I was not afraid would, would leave me when I got to Princeton, and it hasn't. How are you involved in service to others? I've just recently taken the position as a youth pastor at St. James United Methodist Church. And that's, a, that's another one of those things. I'm 21 years old and scared to death. don't have a clue what I'm doing. But, you know, sometimes that's for exactly what God wants you to be in a place like that because He takes you the rest of the way. I'm doing an internship at Labonner Children's in Memphis, Tennessee, which is a partner with St. Jude's Hospital. And I'll work there all of June and just work with kids that are in there for terminally ill diseases or pneumonia, whatever it might be. I'll work with them. I'm really excited. And then I went to Thailand for two weeks. Um, sort of more on a mission trip type deal. We stayed with the missionary family. My girlfriend and her family also came, and uh, we worked with a missionary family that was there helping, helping some women who were coming out of the sex industry, and then also some women who had lost homes in the tsunami from a few years back. And so this summer, I'm going to be leading a team of 19 people um, all over the southeast in six different states, and we're going to actually have both of those camps running on a college campus at the same time. And all the activities we do, that we're, we're, we're sharing the gospel, whether that's on the sports field, whether that's in, um, whether that's in a drama class, um, on the recreational field, whatever that, that may be. Um, we, we also lead, we have a Bible study set aside each time for every kid who comes to camp, um, as well as worship services at night um, and things of that nature. But also still having a lot of fun. Um, we're gonna have about, we're gonna run into about 3,000 kids this summer um, over eight weeks. So we're really looking forward to the experience. What are your goals for the future? Long term is to become a doctor and, you know, just basically help people to have a healthy lifestyle, you know, in every aspect and mainly just to be healthy from a young age to an adult age. That's why I want to go into family medicine. I intend to either get a job through my economics degree or to participate in Teach for America, where college graduates go into schools where they've just had a lot of trouble academically or in other areas, and teach for several years. But my main life's goal, and I really feel like my life's calling is into public service and public policy. Um, I have a real passion for people that I think was um, partially ingrained in me, but um, cultivated here uh, and really, really nourished here uh, by a lot of people who, who saw the propensity for leadership in my life and um, leadership through service. And I think that that focus has definitely, definitely held strong in, in my life. I'm hoping that once I graduate from physical therapy school that I will be able to uh, use that as a platform and a ministry to others, uh, not just from the medical standpoint, but uh, from a personal and spiritual standpoint and, hope, and hopefully be able to be in a position where I can really give back to the community. I don't wish millions of dollars. I don't, I don't wish just nationwide esteem, but just to be able to be comfortable with my skin, to have a family that loves me and to be able to provide for them and love what I do every day and to be able to touch people's lives through what I do every day. I think that's gonna be success for me. Shoals Christian School, training Christian leaders of tomorrow from Christian homes of today.